Welcome back, Row Battlers, to uh, the What Is Going On episode of Custom Robo. Except that was last episode. But that's too bad. Oh, looks like we're never just going to get up normally ever again. Uh, no. We did it the one time. We got work. He didn't yell. I he also... didn't yell. There must be something wrong. <laughs> there are people like that, though. They're like, wow, you were nice to me today. What's wrong? I hope I will never be that person. Yeah, I never want to be the person who doesn't yell at people. <laughs> <laughs> when I make that face turn, people are going to be worried. Oh boy. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm a good, good tweener. So yeah, she's going to die, and Ernest is going to die. Everyone's going to die. Heavens. I mean, that's how, that's how being a human works. You die eventually. I mean, yeah. Alright. Chief of Police again. Yeah, I mean, they're gonna... Under failure. I didn't notice that before. Is our society secretly crum crumbling? Is this the City of Ember, but we just don't know it? Ember? City of Ember was a cool movie. Uh, no, it wasn't. It was a good book, though. <laughs> I liked the movie, but then again, I have bad taste, so... I liked the book when I was in in whatever year I was when I watched or I read it, and then I really liked the sequel book, and then the next book was terrible. Fair enough. Because it was like a prequel set before the people actually moved underground. Spoiler alert, the people moved underground. And uh, it didn't have like any of the characters and it was like barely even related and you're like, why is this a thing? Oh no, he knows. He knows. He knows we could we could die. Oh no, are we having him like express his feelings? I mean he's a poet. This is this is fair. Uh, poets I are, completely forgot about that. Poets are highly emotional individuals who uh, don't know how to be stoic ever. That's why he's always so angry, because he doesn't know how to uh, contain that, that, that feeling. So he's being, like, mild, which just makes everyone burst into tears. I love it. <laughs> he's like, I am I am talking to you like a normal human being. They're like, oh, that's so sweet of you. <laughs> I mean, he's right, though. We, 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 ne we may never see him again. Mm -hmm. We could die in the outside world. There we go. <laughs> that, I was waiting for that. That's the real Ernest. Alright. I like how we only had to go to the training gym once, but it's like the biggest, one of the biggest places here. Yeah. Alright, I high HQ. We've been here too many times. <laughs> I have a feeling we're going to keep coming here quite often. Uh, we're not though. Ooh. We're, we're, we're going to go to the outside world and we're never going to return. Oh, wow. I mean, that's what Ernest was fearing, so that's probably what's going to happen. I mean, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> they have the robot, the murder bot. I want to make sure you have a choice, but also I want to reiterate, we're all going to die if you don't say yes. I read a book like that where, uh... Where, like, the uh, main character was discovered to have, like, a blood quality that would, like, save thousands of people, but, of course, they needed all of it. But he could, you know, he, you don't have to give all your blood. We could take enough that leaves you alive. But, you oh, know. They could? Thousands of people will die. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, 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 I get it. Take all my blood. <laughs> that was, like, so, have you seen The Amazing Spider-Man? Or Amazing Spider-Man 2? No, I have not. Okay, so in that movie, uh, Green Goblin shows up. Uh, and he was the Spider-Man guy's friend, Peter Parker. That's yeah. the Spider-Man guy's name. Yeah. Uh, they were friends from childhood, apparently. And uh, he uh, he is having he has an illness that he could die if he doesn't like treat it. And he thinks right. Spider-Man's blood would uh, fix him. So he's right. like, "Hey, Peter Parker, you know Spider-Man because you take pictures of him. Can you get in contact with him uh, and see if I can get some of his blood so I can make a cure?" So he shows up as Spider-Man and goes, "Yeah, no, you can't have any." And that's why Green Goblin shows up. Because he he like makes he tries to make a serum and it turns him green goblin-y and 
Now hold on, why, why, why not? Uh, there's no real reason. He's just kind of a jerk. <laughs> I knew there's a reason that everyone hated those movies. Uh, they're terrible. That's why. <laughs> that's one one in a series of very very bad decisions. <laughs> And oh, that was here. the second one. Oh. Uh, the first the first one has one of the cringiest scenes I've ever seen in a superhero movie, where uh, Spider-Man needs to get to the villain's uh, hideout place, or like uh, to stop him, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, in order to get there, uh, a bunch of crane operators all turn their cranes it perfectly so that he can swing off of them all the way to the to the villain. That's that's great. That is, it's so cringe. Do they do it on purpose, or is it just like amazing? Yeah, no, they they do it like, oh, it's Spider Man, you're so cool, we're gonna help you, and somehow they all just have a hive mind, and they all turn, they're all like located in just a way that they're just the perfect length so that he can swing off them too. Oh, for heaven's sakes! It's it's awful. <laughs> uh, so yeah, if you like the Amazing Spider Man movies, uh, you're probably a bad person. And you have a terrible taste in movies. I never watched them, so you know. I, I, met, I met the viewers. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah. Because uh, all, all of them that are going to continue probably watching after the Flat Earth episode, they're probably going to be like, oh yeah, let's continue with this. Now I'm invested. <laughs> uh, if you like if you like the Spider-Man movies and also are a Flat Earther, I have no words for you. You can, you can be one of the two. I can tolerate one of the two. There you go. <laughs> I think they're both equally bad though. Bad opinions, though. Alright. So we're about to be, uh... Exited from the dome. Yeah. Again. This couldn't go wrong at all. I mean, why would it? Uh... I feel like the air outside is probably, like, bad. Uh, we've been in, like, a highly curated environment for our entire lives. And we're about to go yeah. outside. Yeah. And there's, like, no trees or grass or plants left. Yeah. So there's nothing making yeah. the air usable. Yeah. But that's okay. We'll survive. I'm sure I'm sure it's fine. It doesn't come up, so <laughs> it must be. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, this is 2004. We didn't think about things like oxygen. And someone's gonna watch this video in like the year like 2099 or whatever. And they're gonna be like, wow, well, this is reality now. <laughs> we have to live in domes because we killed all the trees. Z's hideout was right there. Yeah, it was really close. I mean, we don't know what the scale is for this outside world. I guess it was like one more dome further. Yeah. So, scale's kind of weird for the overworld stuff, but that's fine. Well, this is but it's these hideouts. Didn't you see the label? Yeah. Everyone's gonna die, aren't they? Uh, yes. This is the type of game where everyone is gonna die. Perfect. I expected no less. I like how it let us run up the corridor and then put us on rails again for this little cutscene. <laughs> like, why didn't you just walk up to this part? I I don't know. I'm not a video game designer, but I'm just saying. It might have helped. It might have. Save us a little bit of effort, a little bit of time. Yeah, Roy, don't pull anything funny with this girl. You've done nothing to suggest that you're a creep. Harry. I think Harry's just trying to antagonize everyone in the police force. I mean, same. <laughs> <laughs> Big mood. <laughs> I wonder where the store leads. Uh, let's find out instead of talking about it. Because that's how you enter doors. You go through them. Maybe he plays too many adventure games. Maybe. Oh, they're just sitting around playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, Zed Lackeys. Uh, no. They're actually ninjas. Another splinter group? <laughs> Is that foreshadowing? Oh boy. I'd rather follow a beautiful woman. Uh, same. That's why I need feminism. 
Probably the worst one of those I ever saw was someone holding a sign saying, I need feminism because my library is named after a dude. That's incredible. I'm just like, no. No. Why? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like feminism, but uh, not everything is a feminist issue, believe it or not. I don't believe you. No, they're still talking. Just <laughs> like dirt. I'm surprised someone didn't follow up with like, I want her to treat me like dirt. Because <laughs> that's like a trope. That's a thing. Oh, that's Harry, a, that's never a, do that again. That's a loud, you got it. That was the loudest. Oh, now it's a triple. No. It's a GameCube, it can't handle that. Seriously? Uh, probably not. Oh, that's trash. Uh, well, to be fair, that, that, that might have been absurdly difficult to, uh... Yeah, that might have been, like, really difficult to, uh, keep track of. Yeah, I mean, I already don't like two-on-two -two battles. I don't know we if it... We should have just one three-on-three -three just to really mess with you. Oh, I would have hated it. I don't know if it could handle it, though. Like, I, the GameCube was the most powerful of its generation, but it was still a GameCube. That's weird, but... Was it the most powerful console of its generation? It was, but it was hamstrung by the tiny discs, so it couldn't have the same big games. It's weird to me that it was like more powerful than the Xbox. Uh, yeah. No, the I game. Just always, mostly because I only start really paying attention to the consoles around Wii time, so I've always just associated Nintendo with specialty, uh, low-cost hardware. I mean, the GameCube was so powerful they used it for two generations. The Wii is just a GameCube with motion. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not entirely true, go. but it's kind of true, which makes it funny. Oh dear. Like, I think the Wii was only like 1.25 times more powerful or something like that. I mean, there you go. It, it was basically just a GameCube. That's why it was completely backwards compatible, because it was the same hardware. <laughs> that's so good. <laughs> and then the Wii U was basically just two Wiis that they taped together. I like Nintendo. Nintendo's great. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, there was at least a 10 second delay. Yeah. And then the Switch is just a Wii U tape to a 3DS. <laughs> oh, hey, remember this guy? Yeah. We beat him last oh, time. Wait, 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 who? Yeah, this is the guy at the top of the illegal gambling ring, right? Yeah. And uh, we, we, he disappeared because the lights went out, and now uh, we found him. I like how self aware he is. Oh, yeah, I could never take all three of them. Sure, why not? We don't really have any beef with him. Like, I don't. He hasn't done anything bad this whole game except win row battles. Yeah, it's fair. You've never lost one canonically. Yeah. Except, except maybe the first time on the impossible test. Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I mean... I'm not sure if that was a reload or just a retry. I'm pretty sure it's a reload. Because, I mean, it's the okay. same dialogue and stuff, so... Yeah, okay, so, uh, yeah, we'll say that uh, you've never lo canonically lost a single fight. <laughs> ever since you're f you first picked up a robo. That's pretty good. Like, that is almost the best that you could do. Yeah. The best that you could do is not play in the game at all. Martyr, please. <laughs> Actually, I would be sad if, if we didn't play this, because it's, it's fun. There you go. And it's a good game. Did you start with seven? Uh, six. If you, if you like, drop and you're at one, sometimes it'll stay at one, and sometimes it'll drop all the way to six. I uh, hate it. We got the unlucky RNG. <laughs> That's okay, it's just Shiner. We beat him before, and that was when we were even less experienced. And had... I think we even didn't even have the uh, hardware that we have now, did we? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, we might have got the, the Strike Vanisher right before him. Because I think we got it from that tournament, didn't we? I don't know. I mean, that sounds about right, yeah. It doesn't really matter. The point is, I shouldn't lose this fight. Because uh, we beat him already. And he's, he's not doing a bad job. He's not. But... I think he got different parts. Like, I think he's changed his robot, ro robot around. Yeah. 
which makes sense. But he has a flamethrower, so I should have just like sniped him from here the whole time, but that gets boring. Why would you do that when you could slide into him fire first? Uh, yeah. It was so close. Ah. It was so close, but it's fine. I still almost won with half health. There you go. I still haven't put on those feather legs, even though I've had them this whole time. <laughs> still a little bit salty about that, but oh, bye, Shiner. Yeah, he, he died. He's the first one who's like fallen down. Actually, no, those other guys fell down as well. But like, this place is the first time people have fallen down in a while. I mean, we finally turned off the safety switch. So. Ah. But this is a training room. We have to put the safety switch back on. What if we don't do that? So, uh, are you kidding? <laughs> they're not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we are in the real part of the game now, and there are still tutorials. They literally, he said the same thing, but with a question mark. Yes. Yes, this is incredible. Hey, uh, hey, so the game is good, but whoever designed the tutorials needed a quick punch to the face. Uh, they were designing it for six-year-olds. And then the ESRB was just like, no, nah, this is for teenagers. Like, this isn't even the first... So I looked it up, because I was uh, unsure. This is like the fourth custom Robo game, uh, but it's the first one that got to North America. Seriously? Yeah, there were a bunch on the N64. And did they take place, like, in the world before Rahu destroyed everything? Uh, I don't know. I think they're just all different cannons. I haven't actually played them, I, I didn't look up too much about them, but there were... I think it was three on the N64. Wow. Or maybe maybe one of them or two of them were on the GameCube as well, but uh, there were, I think it was three that were Japan only uh, before this one. There you go. So I'm guessing they tried to make it like really, really simple because they knew it was going worldwide. Or not really simple, but really uh, explain everything really heavily. Oh dear. See, I am just play a bunch of games now that don't do that. That's because you play games that were made in 1930. Yeah, but this one was made in 2004. I know. I'm not defending it. I mean, I am, but... Really good game. That's a good start. That's a decent start. He has a lot of defense, though. Also, the drill gun. Ah. Oh. I know, I don't like the drill gun. I don't like fighting the drill gun. It's fine when Harry has it, though. Oh, uh, yeah. It's good when my teammate has the good stuff. Yeah, I kind of like these ones because they don't go down easy, so you can just, like, keep shooting them. But also, they can okay. just kind of keep running into you and eventually drill gun you to death. Oof. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not going to lose anymore. I told you. I believe you. It was all a clever bluff to uh, mask the fact that the next three episodes are just him fighting one dude. <laughs> I need to do that sometime. If I keep up with these LPs, which uh, maybe this one will do well enough that I'll have the motivation to do it. Maybe it won't. Um, I, I think I'm going to have to do that bit. I think that's the thing I'm going to have to do. Perfect. I can't believe it. H Harry. Oh no. Yeah, she lost. <laughs> is that amazing she's like oh i'm dead but also that's ridiculous yeah i we... missed it what advice did she give doesn't matter do you know how many tutorials i actually paid attention to in this game like two like zero I don't like this stage, though. Is it just hard to keep track of where you are? No, but the, the, the it moves. Like, those are all uh, no! conveyor belts. Yeah. Oh, I hate it. Yeah. Oh, with, oh, yeah, with lava at the end. Great. Yeah. Good. Good. Holy I... cow, how are you dodging it every time? Because uh, when you get up the first time, you get invincibility frames. Oh, okay. So uh, I got really lucky with where I was placed because uh, you can't move initially, like always right off the bat. 
So it could go bad. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, I do not like this stage at all. There, he got him. He got it. <laughs> I'm glad they don't use this stage a whole bunch, but uh, it's a couple of times, and that's two times too many. To be fair, uh, at least you can turn it on the CPU. Yeah, but I just don't like, I just don't like the gimmick in general. It's fair. I wasn't a huge fan of it when I played Into the Breach either, which is. Gameplay completely different, but otherwise oddly similar to this. <laughs> Are you saying this game isn't 100% uh, different from every other game? Oh, that's a lot of always. That was too many always. That was at least two always, though. I'm not wrong. Oh, Harry. I don't want to stay with your sister. Why don't... There's no one here. Yeah, uh, Into the Breach, yeah, like, you, you control mechs. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god, no! No! <laughs> <laughs> the real reason this game was rated T. Uh, no, because uh, it didn't have uh, innuendo on there. It was comic mischief and mild uh, cartoon violence. They just didn't write it up, but this is truly the reason. <laughs> <laughs> this one be, guy. You, control, you control mechs, and uh, it's like a post-apocalypse where the mechs are... Where, like everything's being destroyed. But also and there's you a, fight. <laughs> a guy in a towel. And... <laughs> but this one is a guy in a towel and also is real time, whereas in the breach is turn based, so. Oh there you go. I do like turn based games, they're fun. Yeah. Into the breach is fun because it's not turn based RNG, it's actually very it's very, very not like there's no RNG involved. It's quite nice. Huh. But it is still it's it's, it's kinda like a puzzle fighter in a way. That's interesting. It good. You should you should try it. Cause uh, it's cheap, and I think it's made by the same guys who made uh, FTL. Uh, but I've never played that. I mean, fair FTL. I found so frustrating. I don't know why people like it. Uh, because it has an acronym name. I mean, yeah, but also it it's the wrong kind of RNG. I don't even know what it is oh. to be honest. Uh, it's basically you gotta escape the galaxy, but every single person in the galaxy wants you dead. In real time. With ew, RNG. ew, real time. Ew. Yeah, exactly. Ew. That's why That's why Into the Breach is better. Yeah, everything is better. I need pets! Sam. <laughs> You've got no time? It's true. We have to stop Rahu before it murders us all. Okay. Okay, I'll go. Okay, he cares about his sister. So we got the shotgun, which is uh, really good, if you remember correctly. Uh, yep. We fought it that one time, and until I realized that I could just snipe him from across the stage. Uh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. So I do a bit of running around in this area because uh, I remembered that there are some hidden parts somewhere. But I think that's only on the, the post-game thing. Uh, oh. I, I couldn't find it. I looked around like a couple of times, <laughs> and so if you see me randomly running around, that is why. Okay, I mean that, that's fair, I guess. Uh, I don't think the parts were good. I think that's uh, the tin can bot and its parts, which are like the worst ones in the game. But you still want to have them for completion's sake. Of course, uh, I, I get that. Yeah, but I, I'm pretty sure that's what's hidden in this room. But I think it's only in the post game. In, oh. in, in hindsight. <laughs> Oof. Oof. That is not a good start. Yeah, so this nice. is the one this is he the one that goes down instantly. Oh no. See how quick that went down? Yeah. Which means that all subsequent shots do less damage. Uh and it's really annoying to fight. The secret tech. Also, is he throwing uh acid at you? Uh no, his uh his bomb when it explodes, it does that. I hate it. Yeah. I mean, he's a scientist, therefore he's a poison type. I don't know how that works, but... It that's works. definitely that's definitely a thing that you have said. <laughs> I did just say that. So yeah, these fights take longer, I feel, just because uh, they go down so quickly. You can't combo them. Even though we just yeah. learned about combos, like, a couple of minutes ago. 
Thanks That's to the, still really <laughs> good, by the way. Thanks to those lackeys giving us tutorials in the, like, we're three quarters of the way through the game. <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> And we have it. It's not a new mechanic. Like games do that. Like the Tomb Raider games, they do that. They give you new mechanics later on in the game, and they teach you how to use them. And you're like, okay, cool. Uh, this is the same mechanics we've had for the entirety from day one. Yeah, that's the thing. Like I'm trying to think of like a Tomb Raider game where that that happens. Like yeah, off. Which one? Uh, I know like the, the, Raider... the the reboot. The reboot did it. Yeah, okay, that's fair. But like even like Tomb Raider like. Uh, legend when it introduced like the weird section in Japan. Uh, you know, there's just one box of text that you can ignore, <laughs> and otherwise it's just fine. Uh, the Zelda games do it too, I've been told. So, yeah, guess what we're finally doing? We have finally learned that we have Feather. Yeah. Perfect. And then I decided to look around for other ones anyway, but no, it was the Feather ones that I wanted. Perfect. <laughs> uh, I don't think it is like a super big deal. Um, like I think it just increases it by a few frames, but I, that still makes a difference. Oh, look at that RNG we just got. Perfect. Own him. So yeah, this is the same type of stage as that other one, but they're not on both sides, so it's better. It's yeah, like... even I can tell that that's a bit faster. Yeah. So. Yeah. Also, my dude. Uh, it's fine. I I got comboed once and it was bad. Why are there so many conveyor belts, though? Uh, it's a conveyor base, uh, belt based society. Uh, yeah, this is fine. It's fine. Don't worry. Just just throw them in the lava. It'll be fine. Yeah. I have faith. I have faith. Did, did, I thought he was just going to accidentally own himself, and that was going to be perfect. It's happened before. There we go. I, nice. didn't, I didn't even knock him down. He just kind of backpedaled into it. That's precisely what I was hoping for. See, this is kind of and embarrassing, because I just got my new good legs, and this is like one of the closest fights there's been. <laughs> like that was pretty close. <laughs> he might not have made it if he hadn't just stepped into the magma. Uh, yeah. But it's fine. We won. I didn't lose to the scientist who's like, I'm not very good, and then he almost beats us. But yeah, so That it... <laughs> was a cunning double bluff. Yeah, it wasn't great. Oh, oh we're learning about new things. <laughs> Do you? Very well then. <laughs> this is like on his deathbed. Oh my gosh, it's like someone out of the Truman Show fell down in the middle of their, uh, in the middle of their advertisement. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's funny because we don't get any illegal parts in this game. <laughs> That's all post-game stuff. But our opponents... They only make parts that adhere strictly to the regulations. <laughs> we don't care. The other leaders, there are only two leaders though. Like, Sergei's not a leader. And... We're developing a new set apart for use by our normal members too. <laughs> All illegal! Yeah, so that's how they try to ramp the difficulty up later in the game, is there the enemies get illegal parts, which are stronger. But, uh, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> you wouldn't understand how we feel. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I thought the tin can was to the left of this, uh... That... It probably is in, like, the other version. Yeah, I think like, it is in post-game. Campaign B, or whatever. Yeah. And, uh, that's where we're gonna end this episode. <laughs>